Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Welcome back to Edinburgh. Welcome to another stream. We're going to be going up in the Scottish Ambulance Service fictional gazelle helicopter. And we're going to be doing some rescues around about the uh, central bell area of Scotland. So we'll probably be floating around about Edinburgh. We might go out to Glasgow. We've got a new heliport at Glasgow that we want to be checking out. So we might be heading out towards Glasgow way. Um, I think most of the stuff will be working around about the Edinburgh area since we have a new um, Edinburgh Royal Infirmary scenery that we're working and testing out as well. Hey, 1974 Connors, Connors here, you're goddamn right it's not a game, sir. Welcome on board. Good to see you, my friend. Thanks for joining us. Just about to get the aircraft fired up here on um, Vatsim. We're at Edinburgh Airport right now. There is... Um, there is ATC here, but it's only the ground controller, so we're probably not going to be talking to the ground controller. We're probably going to take off and just depart straight out. So we'll take the battery, the alternator, and the generator up first. Just check, quickly check the ATIS at Edinburgh Information Hotel is current. 1020 is the Q&H. That is set 1020. Alright, um, battery alternator, generator is on. Avionics Master is on. We'll turn the transponder to standby. We'll make sure that the aircraft is fueled to 100%, that we have the passengers in the back, and we have the tablet on. All right, we're ready to start the engine. So we'll open up these little port windows because it always sounds a lot nicer once they are open. Turn it down just a touch. Hey Archer, welcome. First time tuning in. Love the setup already. Thank you very much, my friend. Welcome on board. My helicopter's uh, the helicopter flight. Even has my name on it, sir. Look at that. Even, even my name's sitting right there, bro. I'm, it's, it's what we like to call baller. B a double -L, l e r, baller. And I know what you're thinking. How does it feel to be a gangster, Maverick? Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. Feels real good, my friend. Feels real good. Welcome, Archer. Good to see you. Right, uh, so we've uh, got the little doors open, we're shutting the left, we're shutting the right, the throttle is all the way at idle, the controls are centred and locked, we'll take the rotor brake off now, we'll turn the fuel pump on and count to 10, while we're counting to 10 we'll turn the lights on, upper lights, lower lights, turn the nav lights to flash, we'll turn the panel lights up a little bit, and the console lights. And we're ready for the starter to run now. We're looking for 250 RPM and then we'll take the starter to ignite. So run, 250 we have. Now we go for ignite, press and hold for ignition. We're looking for ignition to illuminate. It does illuminate. Now we're looking for 400 degrees on T4. We have it. Starter back to run. Bring in a little bit of power. Just a smidge. Hey, Resco, good to see you again, brother. Welcome back. What's up, Gabe? Gabe's joined us as well. Welcome, guys. We're just starting the engine at Edinburgh. Okay, we'll take the rad out on now, and the PO heat checked, master warning panel checked, test, they all light up, let it go, they all go out. Throttle fully forward, clear on the left, clear on the right. Alright, let's find out where we're going. Let's roll the dice and see what we get. What's up, Ben? How's it going? Would you, would you do a helicopter flight on VATSIM as if you were doing a... V Bro, that's exactly what I'm doing now. <laughs> uh, right, okay. We have uh, the Royal Infirmary Edinburgh selected. Minimum distance 5 miles. Maximum distance 20 miles. We're looking for street accidents and urban incidents. What's up, Callum? Welcome along. 
I love the Logitech 3D Pro, bro. I've been using it for more than 20 years. I love it. It's a fantastic joystick. Oh, a cyclist HGV collision. A cyclist has been seriously injured after being hit by a heavy goods vehicle and sustaining serious head injuries. The paramedics on scene have requested an air ambulance to get the young man to hospital as quickly as possible. The casualty is stable and is currently being sedated in preparation to fly. The trauma team are aware of the incident and are awaiting our arrival to start working on saving the patient's life. Roger that. Alright, let's find out on the map where it is we're actually going. Alright, we're going north again. We've had quite a few of them up to north. It's up by Mark Inch and Woodside. Up by Glen Rothis was where we're going, guys. So we'll start the mission. We have 27 minutes to get there. I'll show you where we are on the map. Alright, so we're going up to Glen Rothis, which is up here. So we'll be taking off from Edinburgh Airport. We'll be routing towards the Kirkcaldy VRP and from the Kirkcaldy VRP we'll be heading north up towards Glen Rothis and we'll be landing somewhere in um, it's actually over here it's closer to Mark Inch we're going to be landing somewhere here at the the incident and then we'll be coming back and bringing this person to the Royal Infirmary at Edinburgh it should be a good little flight hey fearless good to see you sir welcome on board Right, let's get ready to get going. So we'll uh, put the transponder, we'll squawk mode Charlie. Checked, that is done. We are ready to go, guys. Where's this? That's the one we'll go. All right, good on the left, good on the right. Let's start bringing the power in. I don't need this up at the moment. In fact, fuck it, we'll leave it up. I want the right pedal in as we bring the collective up. Put it in the right pedal now. And I want to... Just gently bring the left skid up first here. The wind is 0, 040 0 at 5 knots. Alright, we are up, stabilised, get the nose into wind. And we're just going to go straight for it from here. So we're going to come up a little bit, make sure we've got enough altitude to go over this fence. And away we go. Do you know what's coming out of land or using the wrong way? We'll quickly transition over here. All right, what are we? Hey, Woozle's back. Good to see you, Buster. Welcome back, brother. I'm loving life in my new home. Loving it. Absolutely loving it. I hope you'd be well, my friend. Good old weasel. Shun McToon. Hey, Merrick's here as well. Good to see you, Merrick. Goddamn buster. So give us an update. Sorry I didn't really. I was too excited yesterday. Talk to us about what's happening. When do you get to control Edinburgh? That's really exciting, guys. Merrick's, soon Merrick will be able to control Edinburgh Tower. That's going to be awesome. Checking in with good old Merrick. Checking in the horn.
Y'all going to Edinburgh? <laughs> Holy smoke, Scoob. Manic says, in about 50 days or so, I'll have to wait until my S2 is 90 days old and then I can request to visit VAT UK. That's awesome, brother. I'll drink to that, Manic. Fucking buster. That's awesome, dude. Who needs VAT Sim UK? <laughs> Hey, Callum Black. What's up, sir? Good to see you, my friend. Thank you very much. Welcome. Welcome in the channel. Okay, we're about halfway there. Kirkcaldy is just on the right hand side around that hill. So you see Glen Rothis, that's where we're heading up towards there. a reasonably stiff breeze coming in from the northeast today in Scotland. It's quite cold to be honest. We've got a lot of a lot of very cold air coming down from Norway and the North Pole, the Arctic Circle. Got a lot of very cold air coming down. It's quite a cold day today. a nice evening to go flying. Hey, hey Charlie O'Halloran's back. Good to see you, my friend. Welcome, Charlie. Captain's Club special. I don't have far to go now, about six miles. I'm very well, my friend. I'm living a dream, in fact. It's getting settled in, in my new place. I'm playing golf tomorrow. Really looking forward to that. Hey, what's up, Dagger? Welcome back, sir. We're back wheeling and dealing in the gazelle. Yeah, I like it as well. Hey, Terry, 
do have a link for the Gazelle, a don't on hand bro, but if you just go to Google, type in GRX Gazelle, Juliet Romeo X-Ray, GRX Gazelle. All right, since it should be up here on the right-hand side, you're welcome, Terry. It's not, like I said, company company that makes it is called GRX Design. 97.3. Juliet Romeo X-Ray. Oh, I see flashing lights. Uh-oh. They're stunk inside the terrain. Oh, no. God damn it. All right, when life gives you lemons. When does zero five zero at 12 knots? What is this man Oh, don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. Alright, no wires or anything that I can see. We're facing any wind now, so I'm just going to pump the brakes. We'll keep coming forward with this forward trend. That sucks that the vehicles are inside the terrain, but never mind. Can't win them all. Because it's, it's on a bridge. No, we'll just land next to the ambulance here. Alright, not too fast, not too fast, not too fast. Any ground effect and stabilise. Touching down. That sucks. See, because it's on like a bridge ramp, it's not put them on the proper bit on the terrain. Never mind. All right, let's have a look. Our medical crew is picking up the patient. Stay put. Roger, Roger. Uh, Dagger says, I noticed that the delay is much shorter now in the stream. Yeah, I selected the like a lower latency option in YouTube, and that seems to have helped out. Okay, they have the patient on board and he is ready to fly. He has a fracture to his head and several broken ribs. We have him sedated right now, so he will not feel any bumps during the flight. Try to go as fast as you can to the waiting trauma team at the hospital. Roger that. All right. Let's uh, not waste any time and get moving. All right, trim's reset. We're good on the left. We're good on the right. For all is 100%. Controls are centered. We are good to lift. We're facing any wind. Slight downhill. Let's get the right skid up first here. Left skid even. A little more right pedal and up. Stabilise. We'll come back. And out. Come right, we'll start putting the nose down. Gently start taking our foot a little bit off the right pedal. A bit more in actually now. Let's get moving. Oh, 
Well, I can release the right pedal now. We've got enough airflow down the side of the aircraft. We'll start trimming forward. Still have a patient comfort level of 40 out of 40. We are now on our way to the Royal Infirmary at Edinburgh. Very easy to find this hospital, it's right next to the Arthur Seat VRP. So all we need to do is fly to the back side of Arthur Seat, find the hospital. You'll see Arthur Seat very clearly as we get over the water here. Autopilot on this aircraft is fantastic. All right, we're just flying over Kirkcaldy. Alright, you can see our for seat in a distance right there. This is our for seat. So there's Edinburgh Castle. And then we have our for seat here. Still got a patient comfort level score of 40 out of 40, guys. God damn it. Looks like the tide's in. Hey, Gabe's asking when will we land? We're landing just behind this hill, so we'll be landing in about three or four minutes. The hospital is just over here. Can I see it? Yeah, there's a hospital there, look. That's where we're going. Right there.
Alright, we're getting pretty close, so I'm going to start slowing down. Wind is zero five zero at fourteen knots. I like to use these uh, four buildings as like a visual reference point. They stand out easily the first thing you see as you get here so I like to line up using those buildings still have a patient's comfort score of 40 which I keep that all the way around start really slowing down now I can just see the helipad now Start working the nose into wind as we approach. All right, nose is into wind. This is working out really well. Everything's looking good. Start crabbing a little bit to the right. We're coming in a little fast. Keep that forward train coming. Settle any ground effect. Stabilize. Touchdown. Slowly release the collective. Let the aircraft settle. Slowly center the cyclone. Center the pedals. We're on the ground. Was the last, was it a new update to the Gazelle? There was, like a couple of months ago. It didn't fix the forced trim, but it made like the regular trim much better to work with. Alright, we scored 73 points there, guys. That's pretty good. That's a nice high score. Patient comfort level 40 out of 40. That was a good one. Alright, we'll try another one. Fact, we'll maybe take this casually to the Glasgow Hospital. So hold on. What is it? It is X ray Echo Golf 0433. Glasgow Hospital selected. Set the course somewhere out to 270 to 360. Three mission. Find out what it is first. Nah. Cancel that. Two, three, one, zero.
Yeah, Woozle, I think they're, they are working on another update, going to be coming out soon. But it's not, um, it's not available just yet. Sorry guys, I'm trying to find a good incident that we can go to here. Callum's asking, have I ever done a video with the EC135? I haven't, dude. Just because I can't find a good 135 for X-Plane. I know that there is quite a lot of them, but the ones I've flown have been a, a big disappointment. I flew, I, I downloaded an EC135 and the flight model was just horrific. I love flying this Gazelle because it sounds so good. Oh, here's a good one, guys. This one's out in um, Falkirk, near Falkirk, actually. Hold on, let me have a look. Just, uh, yeah. It's actually very close to the Helix Park in Falkirk. So we are responding to a female heart attack in Falkirk. So we are here in Edinburgh. The patient is up here. And we're going to be taking the patient to the hospital in Glasgow. So it's very close to the, the Helix Park, which is here. This is the Helix Park. The incident is in Langley's, which is just up here. So we're landing somewhere in this housing estate here to respond to a uh, child has called the emergency services after her mother has suffered a heart attack at home. Paramedics are on scene and have resuscitated the patient. However, she requires immediate hospital attention and they would like our help in getting her to the hospital as quickly as possible. Roger that. So we'll start the mission. And we're basically going to be rooting, get a little route here. Um, from our current position, we're probably going to go directly over Edinburgh Airport, more or less we'll go directly over Edinburgh Airport. And then we'll be heading out towards the Polmont VRP, which is up here. And then from Polmont, we'll be rooting out towards um, Falkirk. From Falkirk, we'll get a visual on the Helix Park, we'll get a visual on the Kelpies, and then we'll find Langley's from there. We'll um, locate the incident, land, hopefully pick up the casualty without any incidents, and then we'll be getting airborne from Falkirk and rooting down to the southwest to the Queen Elizabeth Hospital in Glasgow. Well, let's get the engine up and running again so it gets a little bit of throttle in. I want to watch this gauge and make sure it doesn't spike above 0.25 on this gauge as I feed the throttle back into the aircraft. This aircraft is called the JRX Gazelle. Alright, we're good on the left, the doors are shut, we're good on the right, the doors are shut, the throttle is at 100%, the uh, trim has been reset and the controls are set in the neutral position. Right, ATC is not online. Alright, we're good to go. Alright, nose is any wind. The wind is 14 knots, 0, 050. 0. Here we go. Left skid up first. Up we go and stabilise and ground effect. And back we go now. I'm going to depart to the northwest.
Well, there's quite a few ed uh, ground. There's quite a few ground. There's quite a few aircraft on the ground at Edinburgh. There's no one coming out of land, so we're going to go straight over the airfield. This will look quite cool. Touch more altitude. Right, there's the air airport in front of us. Right, they're using runway 06. I don't see anybody... Um, I know there's no one coming out of land because I've got a screen that shows me. I don't see anyone taxiing out either. Which is good for us, because I need to turn right a little bit here. Should we ring the horn and let them know that we're coming? I think they're all on stand. Yeah, look, they're all down there parked up. We'll get right over the threshold and get out of their way. Yeah, <laughs> Merrick says the ground will be thinking, what the fuck? Exactly, bro. Sorry, dude, we got lights on the fucking line here. Lives on the goddamn line. Sorry guys, one sec. I want to see if I can bind the uh, landing light to my reset. Oh shit, this is all my, this is all Augusta buttons. I sort of need to keep these. Um, what could I use? Maybe this one. Toggle reverse thrust. In fact, I'm not using that. We'll do that. GRX. Switches. Ah, I bet it doesn't even have one for the fucking landing light. Bob Saget. Does it have one? Landing light. Lick. Landing licked. You can't even click. Of course you can click. Fucking 20th century Maverick, for fuck's sake. Landing light. Why is there so many? God, Bob Saget. Landing light one on. Oh god, I can't be bored with this. Landing lights toggle. Surely that's a good way to, where to start. Which one is this? This one. Nope. That one. Yep. Yes, it works, Look. <laughs> Thank you. 
God damn genius. Hey, Connor, yeah, it would be normal. That would be fine, dude. Just normally, I, I would be... There would be like a tower controller there. I would be telling them that I'd need to transit over the airfield and he would clear me to do that. Or if it was busy, he would tell me that there's negative ghost rider, the power is full. Alright, we don't have long to go to Pullman. We're getting pretty close. Do you remember I said we're heading to the Pullman VRP? Here it's over here, Pullman. That's where I used to live, down there in Grangemouth. the M9 motorway on our right hand side there. We're in a race we are train! Some shaky tracks that guy's on. The old shaky track 4000. Guy's loving it. I right, have 24 minutes to find this. Should be loads of time. Alright, this is Lynn Lifko. Connor says, I work for the railways, I'll let them know there's a problem. <laughs> Those are some bumpy tracks out there, big dog. We're getting close. We're heading to just here. Around about this area here. That's a Grange Mouth Oil Refinery. Right, we're looking for the Helix Park. We're looking for two massive fucking horses. There they are, there. Ah, there they are there, Neil Carty. <laughs> Alright, Ensign should just be on the left in this estate over here now. Get by altitude, see if we can see it.
I don't see it. Gotta be down here. Oh, I think I see it. Yeah, I see it, I see it. See an ambulance down there behind those trees? Yeah, that's definitely it. That's definitely it. The wind is 040 at 11 knots. Got a big park there on the left hand side. Swoop, swoop down in there. Come on girl, settle down, settle down. Alright, here we go. Alright, I can see it there on the right hand side, uh, left hand side. The wind is reasonably strong here, it's about 15 knots coming at us right on the nose. I don't see any cables or anything going across there, so I'm probably just going to crab it straight in onto the road, right in front of the ambulance. Got a nice little forward trend going on here. I want to get down a little bit lower so I've got some good visual references as we get closer. I don't want to come at this too steep once we're right over it. I want, I'd like to come into this landing zone rather than come down into it. I'd actually like to come forward and in would be handy here. Bit of a tight squeeze. I see the pole on the right hand side. I see the tree in front of the road. I see the house on the left hand side. Keep this trend coming over. Let's see the pole for this side. This coming in. All right. This is exactly where I didn't want to be, but I've, I'm here now, so I'm going to have to deal with it. I can see that pole down there. It's a good visual reference point. Let's start coming down on there. Still looking at the pole on the right hand side as my primary reference point. I know I'm getting close to the tree in front on the left, so I'm going to start dialing that back here. Check on the tree. Don't get too close to the pole. Keep coming down. We'll put the skids just on the front of the road. Don't get too close to the tree. We'll settle it down here. Stabilizing ground effect and then pull it down. Gently neutral on the collective. Cyclic neutral. Pedals neutral. We're on the ground. Yeah, it's pretty small. Scottish control is just logged on. That sounds good. Take the Glasgow it is 1020, which is what we have. 1020 is checked. Right, it shouldn't take long to get this casualty in here, that right there. Looks like the casualty's already off the stretcher and in the aircraft. Okay, the patient is on board and stable. You can lift when ready. Try to make this as fast as you can. It's okay if it's a little bumpy. Roger that. Right, 
I'll get my pen and my bit of paper ready in case I get some instructions that I'm not expecting. Scottish Control, good evening. Helimed 02 Alpha. Hello sir, good evening. Helimed 2 Alpha, we're just about to lift at Falkirk. We'd like to enter controlled airspace on track for the Queen Elizabeth Hospital in Glasgow, routing via Cumbernauld and the Kingston Bridge VRP. Helimed 02, Roger, lifting your discretion, surface wind. Helimed 0, 04, 0 degrees, 110, QNH 1020, report airborne, with more Charlie. Helimed Heli mode correction. Heli med two alpha. Roger that. We'll report um, airborne. And uh, we have one zero two zero four glass um, Edinburgh correction. We're lifting now. All right, we're going to come out the same way we came in. Trim's been reset. Good on the left. We're good on the right. Throttle is under percent. Collect the side. We are ready to lift. Left skid up first. Stabilise. Back we go. Alright, we're coming left. Take the foot gently off the right pedal, let the aircraft come round, catch it with the right pedal again. Scottish LMN 2 Alpha, we're airborne from Falkirk, routing for Cumbernauld at 600 feet. Zero four seven four basic service for LMN 2 Alpha. Hey Pablo, I would love to see a 145 as well my friend. I really hope a, a decent payware comes out, a payware version of it. There's lots of freeware 135s and 145s, but they're not very good. I want the act I want an actual $50 payware EC145. That's what I want. Full fidelity cockpit, brilliant flight model, great sounds. Heli Men 2 Alpha, uh, we'd like direct for the Queen Elizabeth if possible. Helimed 2 Alpha, Roger, clear tender controlled airspace on track for the Queen Elizabeth Hospital, not above 2,000 feet VFR. Helimed 2 Alpha, Roger, clear tender controlled airspace on track for the Queen Elizabeth Hospital, not above 2,000 feet VFR. Alright, we are moving. Damn, that's a shot. Delta Mike, when ready, descent for level 25 
<laughs> then you wake up in a lot of those sweat. <laughs> I'd love it. I want a hardcore 145. Apparently there's a Chinook coming out soon for X-Plane, but... And I... I mean, I definitely will get that, but... There's not really an awful lot you can do with it. Can't really fly the helicopter rescue mode. I suppose you can have combat rescues, but... Eh. Eh. One zero two one will call for Helimed two Alpha. Sounds like Merrick, that guy. Is my man Merrick flying shuttle late uniform? No, it's a guy called John. Yeah, Matt, confined area landings will get you sweating, that's, that's for sure. Right, hospital's not far, it's just up here, here's the city of Glasgow. to Alpha Radar Control Service. Is that there? I think I'm pretty sure that's it there. Yeah, that's a the hospital there. Scottish Element 2 Alpha, we have the Queen Elizabeth in sight. Alpha. Yeah, I'm Alright, winds are 041 at 13 knots, so we're going to go around the hospital, turn around and look back into the wind. 
gently start slowing down now. Glasgow heliport just down there on the left. There's a hospital on the left hand side. Start our landing turn now. Touchdown! Touch, touch, touchdown! Touching down! Who's this Buster Easy 155 that can't fly? Fucking Buster. Where is this guy? He's back here somewhere. Maybe too far away from me to see. We're just going to make the short hop over to the Glasgow heliport.
Scottish Helimed 2 Echo on the Queen Elizabeth rooftop helipad would like to lift just for the short hop over to the Glasgow heliport. Element to Echo Roger, we're lifting now. I meant to echo Roger. Do, 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 do. Boop. Oh, let's check this replay out. All right, here comes this goddamn maniac. Oh, such a great sound in helicopter. Crabbing. Still a bit high there, could have been a lot lower. I thought I was going to hit the ground there, I still had a good four feet of clearance. 
to think. You think you're really low at this point, but you're actually quite high up. Good bit of clearance under there. Could have been a lot lower. I thought I was about one foot off the ground at this point. Touching down. Hey Vaughn, good to see you sir, I'm just ending! <laughs> At least you made it though. Rad out off, Peto heat off. Oh, it's nice to be back flying in a gazelle, guys. Not not quite as um, prestigious as flying the Augusta 139, but uh, the, the sound model from this aircraft just adds so much to the experience when you're flying it. It is an absolute pleasure to fly. So make sure if you've got some um, extra cash available and you're looking for a good helicopter experience, guys, JRX Design Gazelle. Right, you definitely won't be disappointed. I've really enjoyed flying the aircraft. It's been great fun. And again, I, I know I say this hundreds of times a stream when I'm flying it, but the sound of the aircraft is just absolutely incredible. It's worth every single penny. All right, guys, I'm going to go take a bit of a break. I'm going to grab some food. I might come back in a couple of hours' time for like an evening stream, but if not, I will uh, maybe catch you guys tomorrow night or the on Thursday. So, uh, Top Gun and Volleyball, my friends, take care of yourself, your friends and your families. Do something nice for a stranger if you can. I am not Scott Manley. Fly safe.